welcome to another edition of Historic Songs with Jason Huber. Today we're going to look at the tune Arkansas Traveler. Although most people have probably heard of the tune in the form of the children's song Bringing Home a Baby Bumblebee, many may not know that the tune dates back to before the 1840s. It was in the 1840s that Sanford Faulkner, a native of Little Rock, composed lyrics based on an encounter he'd had asking for directions in Backwoods, Arkansas. In the original song, a traveler comes upon a squatter and asks for some basic form of hospitality. The squatter gives all sorts of crazy excuses as to why he can't help the traveler. For example, when the traveler asks if he can spend the night in the squatter's house, the squatter replies that the roof leaks and there's only one dry spot in the house, which is where he sleeps. The traveler asks why he doesn't patch the roof. The squatter says that it's cold and it's raining, so he doesn't want to patch it that day. The traveler asks why he doesn't patch it on a dry sunny day. And the squatter says, well, the roof doesn't leak on dry sunny days. Unfortunately for Arkansas's image, the song lyrics kind of make them look like a bunch of backwood rednecks. <laughs> in the early 20th century, uh, the tune was used in a number of cartoons, but it would always accompany a hillbilly kind of character. And for this reason, the tune, although originally very popular in the state, fell out of favor for some time. It wasn't until the late 20th century that it began to become popular again. Now there's a double-A baseball franchise in Little Rock, known as the Arkansas Travelers, and the state even gives out certificates to not notable visitors deeming them Arkansas Travelers. The tune is an important part of American musical heritage, so let's play Arkansas Traveler. <laughs> Hope you enjoy.